Governor, thank you for your um, kind words and my compliments to your careful stewardship of the 81st legislative session. And uh, the same could be said for Speaker Strauss. Joe, thank you for your friendship and, and uh, for the smooth sailing, uh, relatively speaking, of the last 138 days. Um, this great chamber has witnessed leaders emerging and engaging in passionate debate, uh, sometimes with points of difference, but today we share a common purpose. In a group representing a great diversity of political viewpoints, there is no debate today. So we gather to express our heartfelt gratitude for the men and women who protect us. Remember those who gave their lives in the process. When we ponder the concept of laying down one's life for another, we're reminded that such sacrifice is a supreme act of love. Love for those protected love for ideals of a nation steeped in freedom. We're amazed by accounts of such selflessness, but we're also saddened at lives cut short, dreams extinguished, loved ones left behind. As we honor these brave Texans who made the ultimate sacrifice, we also offer our heartfelt condolences to those who love them. It can be no easy thing to balance admiration for your fallen warrior with the realities of a life that continues to unfold, one challenging day after another. Knowing that the people of Texas genuinely appreciate the service and sacrifice of our military personnel, we also lift up our survivors in our thoughts and prayers. Not only do the leaders here today pray for you, but they and their colleagues have been working to express their support in tangible ways as well. For example, when this ceremony concludes, I will take pen in hand and sign Senate Bill 90, making it easier for dependents to pursue their education while enduring the frequent relocations of military life. And I want to thank Senator Vandepew Thank you, Senator. And Representative Guerin. Charlie, thank you. They carried these bills. There's also time left in this session to extend the benefits of the Hazelwood Act to surviving spouses of those killed or completely disabled in the line of duty. Providing for themselves and their families is a significant burden for these spouses and a burden that can be reduced by better pay that typically comes with a college degree. Now, so I also hope that we can say thank you. Thank you to all of our veterans today by extending in-state tuition rates to all GI Bill veterans. You know, no matter the outcome of the debates in this building, the fact remains that Texas owes much to those who have died as well as to their family members. In the days to come, I encourage you to live your life fully because you know that each day indeed is precious. Be assured that the cause for which your loved ones fought and died is still very just and noble. In the wreckage of that fateful September day, long removed, order restored to sites of unimaginable carnage, but that sentiment that drove the attackers still festers today. 
It is a sterling tribute to men and women of our armed forces, our intelligence services, members of the law enforcement community, that no similar attack has occurred on our nation's soil in the intervening days. Because our defenders have been willing to answer the call, muddy their boots on foreign soils, we enjoy safety and security here at home. That said, the war on terror is far from over. The need for vigilance and engagement will continue. It will continue as long as the hateful ideologies that drive our enemies continue to find a foothold in their hearts and their minds. Because these sentiments emanate from the basest parts of human nature, their demise will be a long time in coming. So we will continue to call upon the best and the brightest among us to stand between us and those who would do us harm. They will join the long line that have taken up arms to defend others. Yeah, I'm reminded of the words written by Bayard Taylor in his poem. It's called The Song of the Camp. It conveys the unique character of those defenders, and it honors them in repose. It says, sleep soldiers, still in honored rest, your truth and valor wearing the bravest are the tenderest, the loving are the daring. Today we remember these Texans the bravest of our lot and celebrate their daring. Because of them, we live and breathe freely. In the days to come, let us all cling tightly to those ideals that motivated their selfless service. Let us never take for granted the freedom for which they traded their lives. Let us strive to live in a manner befitting their sacrifice. God bless you, and through you, may God continue to bless the great state of Texas. Thank you.